Hi, so this video is going to outline um, how projections work in ArcGIS Pro. Um, if there's one thing that students tend to get confused on, it has to do with map projections and how they work in the GIS software. So hopefully this video will, <clears throat> will help, us, help us out with that. Um, and I'm just going to run through some, some examples with some simple shape files. Um, and hopefully after watching this, you'll understand um, a little bit better how the projections work in the software. So to get started, I'm going to open up ArcGIS Pro. And I'm just going to start a a blank map here. Okay, and so I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna go to <clears throat> excuse me here. I'm gonna go to insert. I'm gonna insert a new map. And as a lot of you know, the topo map is the default backdrop that ArcGIS Pro puts in the background. I always like to change that, so I'm just going to go to base map and I'm going to load in the, the hybrid imagery. Okay. Um, so I guess the first thing to point out in terms of projections is if we if I zoom out here and we can see the whole world imagery, we can see that it's in the shape of a square, okay? So it's a flat map here in the software. Um, what I like to ask my students is what projection, can you tell just by looking at this, what projection maybe the data is in? And, and the answer would be it's in a cylindrical projection. Um, and you can tell that this is a Mercator map, actually. You can tell that because look at how big Antarctica is. Look at how huge Greenland is. Obviously, uh, we know by now that Greenland is not that big. And the reason it's showing up that big and the reason Antarctica is showing up that big here on the map is because this is a cylindrical projection. And the farther away you get from the equator, the more stretched out uh, things become on the map. Um, but the first thing to point out in terms of projections in the software is that ArcGIS Pro takes on um, the properties of the very first piece of data you add into the map. Okay? So, for example, we added in this world imagery along with the hybrid reference layer into our map first. Now, if we check the projection of this world imagery, so, for example, if I highlight world imagery, then I right click on it and go to properties and I go to source and I go to spatial reference we can see that the projection this piece of data is in is in WGS 84 web mercator auxiliary sphere okay so that's that's what this data is projected in similarly if we click on our project in this case it's just called map if we click on the map, in other words, if I right click on this and go to properties and go to coordinate system, notice it's exactly the same. And that is because the first piece of data we added into ArcGIS Pro is the world imagery. It has this projection, therefore our map has the same projection. Now, the good thing about ArcGIS Pro is it has something called project on the fly, okay? What that means is, is if I right click on my map properties and let's say I don't want to use this web mercator auxiliary sphere projection. Um, since we're going to be making a map of Wyoming, I want to use UTM uh, NAD83 zone 13. Okay, so if I right click map and go to properties and go to coordinate system, and remember from lecture and from other uh, labs we have done, UTM is a 
projected coordinate system. Okay? So if I hit the arrow next to projected, scroll down to UTM, the datum I want to use is NAD83, and then Casper, Wyoming is in zone 13 north. So I'm going to highlight that and click OK. <clears throat> okay. Now my map, if I right click on map again and go to properties, this is what projection it's in. UTM, NAD83, zone 13 north. <clears throat> Did I do anything to the projection of the world imagery? No, I didn't. If I right-click on the world imagery and check its projection, it is still in WGS84 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. Okay? So the reason... So Arc ArcGIS Pro has something called Project on the Fly. You can have as many data layers in your contents pane as you want, and ArcMap will... Uh, do the mathematical calculations behind the scene and make it match up to whatever projection is in your map. In this case, UTM Zone 13 North. Okay. Uh, let's add in another piece of data just to kind of show you that point. So I'm going to hit the Add Data button and I'm going to go to my uh, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to go to my projections lab data and I'm going to add in the state's shape file. Okay, it, it's lining up just fine it looks like. It looks like the states are lining up right where they should be. Um, let's check the projection of that state shape file. Again, right click states, go to properties, uh, go to Spatial Reference, and this particular file is in GCS North American 1983. Again, it's different from UTM. So we have the world imagery in WGS84 Web Auxiliary Sphere. We have the states in GCS North American 83. But again, remember, my map is still in UTM NAD83 Zone 13 North. So just to hit the point home again, um, you can put your map into any projection you want, and because the software has project on the fly, it will make all of these other layers that you have in your map line up, okay? So the thing to remember here is ArcGIS Pro is project on the fly. You can have your software or your map be in any projection you want, and as long as these other files have a projection, it will it will make them it will usually make them line up. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's let's look at another uh, instance or example with projections. So let's I'm going to go ahead and add in another shape file to my map, and I'm going to add the cities in. Okay. So I've added my cities in. I'm going to make the uh, symbol something a little bigger that I can see I'll just make them a red dot just so we can see it better and notice what's happening here my my shape file loaded in just fine uh, but you can tell they certainly aren't lined up where they should be. They are clearly, they're out in the Pacific Ocean and clearly south of the United States, okay? Um, so if, if I ever run into a piece of data that, that doesn't look like it's lining up the way it should, the first thing I do is check its projection, all right? So I'm going to right-click on Cities. I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to go to Spatial Reference, up oh, and look and see what we have here. It says unknown coordinate system. In other words, this shapefile does not have a map projection. When something doesn't have a map projection, um, ArcGIS Pro does not know what to do with it. Basically what it'll do is it'll put it in the middle of the map, but it has no clue as to where this piece of data should go. Okay? Um, and so let me, sh let me show you how to uh, fix this. Um, 
the thing you have to do is you have to give it a projection. And you can't just give it whatever projection you want. Um, you have to, if someone sends you a piece of data that doesn't have a projection, you have to call that person and ask them, hey, what projection did you create this file in? If you got it off a website and it doesn't have a projection, you need to go to that website and figure out, uh, hopefully on the website it'll tell you what projection the data should be in. Um, if you got some GPS data from someone and it's not lining up correctly, you need to call that person and ask them, hey, what, pro what kind of map projection did you use on your GPS unit? Um, you can't just give it whatever projection you want. It has to be what it was created in, okay? Now, in this particular example, I'm going to tell you right now, just because I know and I've worked with this file before, that this particular shape file should be a North America Lambert uh, conformal conic, okay? So now that we know what projection it should be in, because I told you, North America Lambert conformal conic, um, if a if a shape file or a piece of spatial data does not have a projection, you use a tool called Define Projection. Okay, so in the toolbox, you're going to use a tool called Define Projection to fix this. So we're going to go up here to Analysis. We are going to click on Tools. And then over here in the in the search box, we are going to type in define projection. And here it is right here, the first one that popped up, define projection. So I'm going to click on that. Okay. So our input data set is going to be cities. Now we need to tell it what coordinate system we want it to be in. So we're going to select, we're going to click the button over here to the right that says select coordinate system. North America Lambert Conformal Conic is a projected coordinate system. So I'm going to hit the arrow next to projected. I'm going to go to continental, North America. And I'm going to find North America Lambert Conformal Conic. And there it is right there. Again, the way you know that this is the correct projection is just because I've worked with this data before and I, I'm telling you what it is. Um, again, if you ever get a piece of spatial data that does not have a projection, you have to find out from whoever made that piece of data what projection it should be in. And then you use this tool to put it in that correct projection. Again, in this case, it's North America Lambert Conformal Conic. I'm going to highlight it, click OK. And then I'm going to run the tool. Now watch what happens to the cities file. See that? It, it moved it. The tool ran and it moved it where it should go. Okay? That's exactly uh, what should happen. If I zoom in a little bit. Yep, Cheyenne is, is where it should be. I'm assuming this is Fort Collins. Yep, Fort Collins looks like it's where it should be. I can check a few other cities, Fargo, um, looks like it's all, all lining up uh, where it should be, so looks like we're good. Um, so just to, again, a couple things to remember with the ArcGIS Pro software. You can have the projection of your overall map. And the way you check that is you right click on map, go to properties. And as you can see, for example, mine is an NAD83 UTM zone 13. You can have individual projections for your pieces of data. And the way you find that out is right click on the data and go to properties, go to spatial extent. And we just fixed this one. It used to say unknown. Now it's in North America Lambert conformal conic. Okay. Uh, the states is in GCS North American 83. The world imagery is in WGS 84 Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere. Okay. Remember the reason all three of these files have are in different projections, but the reason they are lining up 
with our UTM projection that we have in our map is because ArcGIS Pro has project on the fly. And that what that means again is the software can do the mathematical calculations for these three files and change their projection on the fly to match that of our map. Okay? So we're not we're not changing the the projection of these files. We're just sort of doing it behind the scenes and on the fly so that everything lines up. Um, so I hope that makes sense. Hopefully that'll help you with the exercise you have to do. As, as always, uh, email, call, or text with any questions.